of Alabama, Michigan in the Rose Bowl and Texas, Washington in the Sugar Bowl. Um, Evan, I will let you start with your thoughts on these games real quick. Anyone who says they know for sure who's going to win either of these is lying. They don't know for sure. Um, so you have the one and four, Michigan and Alabama. I, I don't know. Jake, is Alabama a favorite? Uh, Michigan, I believe, is favored by two and a half. Okay, so it's essentially a toss. Yes. Very slight lean Michigan, right? Um, so Michigan is the favorite. I was a little surprised by that because you think Alabama, especially after beating Georgia, um, who was the best team in the country, um, you would think uh, by default that they're going to be the favorite throughout. But that's not the case because Michigan has had a very good year. You know, typical Michigan is they make it through the Big Ten, they lose versus Ohio State, and then maybe they slip into a good game, then they'll lose there, either a bowl game or the playoff, and then they'll lose there. Um, this Michigan and the Michigan, the last couple of the seasons has been different. They've beaten Ohio State three times now. This year, they've looked more strong than anything. Obviously, they have the two-headed monster running back. J.J. McCarthy is nothing special, but he's serviceable. I, I can't believe people are talking about him going to the draft, but that's a separate thing. Um, I, he should probably stay another year. But the Michi Michigan defense is good. Like I talked about versus Iowa, everyone's like, oh, the Iowa defense. And Iowa defense is good, but Michigan's defense is better. Uh, they're better than Iowa's defense. Um, and they they prove that, um, yes, I know the Iowa offense is nothing, but they nevertheless, they still prove that in Indianapolis. So uh, Michigan's legit this year. Um, is that enough? We'll see because, you know, SEC, it's been a problem for them. Alabama, uh, well-coached team with uh, Milrow and all them. We'll see how that goes. And then to the other game, I think that's a toss game. I think it's really good. Texas, I assume, is the favorite in that one, Jake, right? Texas, Yes. By, Texas by four. Four. Okay, so that's actually a little closer than I would thought it would be. I think this is a toss-up game, too. I think uh, Washington has been counted out. That nine-and-a-half spread line, I can't believe, versus Oregon that they, they had. Um, that was totally disrespectful to Washington, and they showed exactly why it was. So, um, so both of these are going to be great games. Um, I will go um... – First, Alabama, Michigan. Uh, to me, this is a um, kind of an old school Big Ten game, right? I know Alabama, is, of course, is not in the Big Ten, but this this just has a feel to it, right? You know, great defense, um, grind the clock, running the ball, um, not exactly keep the other offense off the field because honestly, I don't think either offense is anything great. But um, this just feels like a twenty-seven, twenty-four kind of game. I don't know why. I don't have any rhyme or reason. But 27-24 would probably, would probably be my score prediction. And then as for the Texas-Washington game, um, I feel like this is a toss-up, like uh, Evan said, you know, four-point spread. Um, I don't think that either team is really – I would not be shocked if you picked either team to win this game is what I'm saying. Um, Texas has, you know, gotten, uh, gotten hot um, towards the end of the year. Uh, Washington, of course, has been at the top, you know, beating Oregon twice during the season. Um, I would have actually thought Washington would be the favorite in this game, by the way, maybe by a point or two. Um, but both games are going to be uh, great games to be sure. And I can't wait to watch them on New Year's Day. Oh, yeah. Um, so both games are going to be great to watch. I think I'm going to start with the Alabama Michigan game first. You know, I think that, you know, because so Jace McShelling, McShelling was out last week against Georgia. Um, for Alabama, I I can guarantee you he will go this week against he will go against Michigan. Um, you know Michigan's got the QH monster at running back that Evans mentioned. You know Blake Corum and Jonathan Edwards. Um, first of all, I just want to say if you are betting on this game, K both quarterbacks under. Um, I think this will be a running game. I think they'll run the clock out. You know, I think this will be a very close game. I agree with Jordan's. Projection 27 24. And they're getting to the other Texas and Washington game. You know, I I told Evan this last night. I, I thought, I don't think Washington is as good as people say they are. I think Washington will crack at some point, And I think this will be the game. I don't think they'll get back to Texas. I think that Washington thing's ridiculous. But I also agree with you on the JJ McCarthy. Like, I, his. Like his under, you say take the under, but his under is probably going to be so low for that game. It's going to be an interesting decision. Can I, oh, just, yeah. can I make one more point about the Texas-Washington game? Uh, I, I mentioned that the Alabama-Michigan game is going to be 27-24. Like, I, I mentioned that. I don't know why I have the you know feeling it's going to be that, that score, but I just have the feeling. Texas-Washington is going to be very high scoring, 
because you look at both offenses, right? NFL wide receiver is all over the place. Texas, we know about them. Not quite Ohio State's wide receiver room, but maybe the second best in the country. And Washington, and Washington has two NFL wide receivers on their end. Uh, Romo Dunze and um, um, Jalen Polk. So um, that's going to be a shootout. I would not be surprised if that game's in the 40s. And Jalen McMillan as well. Correct.